Behold. My snail! Isn't he pretty? Oh! I'm still wearing my snail headband. Oops, let's take this off. You guys gave me so many name suggestions for our new friend and I loved a lot of them. So he's gonna have a really long name. You stay here for a second. Don't go anywhere. I'm pretty sure I still have a bunch of name tags, right? Aha. Okay, are you ready to find out his name? Say hello to Sir Shelley Sheldon Snails a lot the second. They can't say that five times fast. Sir Shelley Sheldon Snails a lot the second. Sir she Shelley Sheldon Snails. Sir Shelley Sheldon Snails a lot the second. Got it. <laughs> he looks like a Sir Shelley Sheldon Snails a lot the second, doesn't he? For now, you can live with me in my house. There you go. Also, we have to display the plushies we got from the festival. Let's put one next to my Luma plush. And I guess we could also put our headband down here. And this other snail plushie can go up by my bed. Cute! I bet you stay in here for now, okay? I'll make you someplace soon. I love you. Now, remember when I was looking for snails in the blush burrow and I saw a cool pink cow? Well, I've never seen a cow like that before and I want to learn about it. Maybe we can ask the girl at the museum. Hello, since you work, or I should say worked at this uh, museum, would you happen to have any information on pink cows? Is that what pink cows are called? Oh, so mulips are rare. Oh, sure. Wow, I didn't know that I came across a rare cow. Let's see what we can learn about it. Mulip, a pink daisy covered cow related to mushrooms and moo blooms. Mulips appreciate gentle care, but don't mind an occasional shearing when their flowers grow too big. Mulips are quite rare. Only a handful have actually seen them in the wild. Some people say that mulips bring peace to those around them. Mulips love the color pink and tend to stay where that color is prevalent. And just like their ancestors, mulips love to eat wheat. Feeding two will make another. This is so cool. We should probably go to the blush burrow to see if the mulip is still there. Uh-oh. It was right here last time. Wait a minute. They like wheat. We must make a hoe. Hello, sir. Shelly Sheldon snails a lot the second. I think I'm gonna call him Shelly for short. But okay, I need to make a hoe. So let's make some sticks. And there we go. Now, do I have any seeds? Really? I don't have any seeds? Wait, what about my backpack? Ah! Oh, one. I have a single seed. Eh. Grow. Uh, this is taking forever. Do I have any bone meal? Wait, 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 wait. Backpack? No. Do I have any bones in my house? <gasps> yes. All right. We got 18. Grow. Got it. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the ground where it was and uh, I guess hope that it comes back. <gasps> it worked. And there's two. Okay, I know I'm supposed to be restoring this village and just like the previous village, this list of things to do is quite long. The girl at the museum asked me to build an area for the mulips and she even said that she'd pay me. So I think we should do that first. Since the mulips love the color pink, I think we should make a giant pink barn. I think it's time to go shopping for materials. All right, what's in the shop today? Got some mushrooms, some signs, and paintings, but we need things that are pink. <gasps> this is pink, and so is this. I'm not seeing any pink star blocks though. Uh, let's buy these two things and then head on over to the block shop. Are there still pink star blocks in here? <gasps> yeah, oh no. I'm getting dangerously low on diamonds. We'll have to visit that free money block soon. Anyway, I've got all I need. So let's head to the blush burrow to find a place to build. There are loads of broken buildings around here. So we have to try to find a spot that's open. It looks like there's a building here, a building here. There's even a building over there. Uh, let's see. I kind of want a flat area too. Somewhere that's easy to build on. This spot is really pretty, but... I don't think there's enough space. Wait a minute. What about this spot? This could work. Look how many flowers are over here. Maybe we can build the barn here and then clear out some of these trees so that the cows have an area to play in. Where's my tree axe? Wow. While I wait for these leaves to despawn, let's start working on the barn. Now I'm thinking a barn that's about 10 by 12 blocks should be enough space, right? Let's put our first block here. Then we'll count five spaces. One, two, three, four, five, block. 
one, two, three, four, five, block. Then we'll just count eight spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Place a block and do the same thing over there, over here. Now with these white planks, we can plan where the wall is gonna go. And I think we're all set. Now that we have the rough layout of this place, let's actually build this thing. prettiest barn you've ever seen? There's even a lofted area inside! Since Moolips love wheat so much, I think we should add a bunch of hay bales for them. The only problem with that is uh, I currently only have one piece of wheat. I didn't look at the food shop today though. Do you think that they would sell wheat? There's really only one way to find out. Let's go back to the island. I want to make a lot of hay bales, so I got two stacks of wheat. Unfortunately, that only leaves me with two diamonds left. Ugh! I'm poor again. That's so okay. It's for the moolips. All right, we could put some inside towards the back of the barn. Some can go over here. And then the rest of these can go outside. Speaking of outside, we need a fence. I don't want the moolips to get lost. So let's put a bunch of fences around here so that the moolips can enjoy the fields of pink flowers. All done. Come here, you beautiful bean. Look at them! I think they love it. We should go tell the museum lady that we're done. Hi, I've created a barn for the Moolips. Sure thing, follow me. What do you think? Wow! Thank you! Alright, well now that that's done, let's work on this village. Today I would like to restore the windmill. Then the bakery sounds like a fun build. And I guess we could also make a small villager house. Let's go! I put it right in the middle of the village and I also decided to put the bakery right over here. I think I'm obsessed with this place. It's so pink. Anyway, let's go pick out a spot for that villager house. Oh, hello? Why is that man so fast? Are you gonna try to jump in here? Absolutely not. I need a weapon. I need a weapon. Ah, oh what is happening? Okay. Are there any more stinky zombies around here? Uh, I feel like I gotta place some torches around here. This is a cute spot. Let's build the villager house over here. Perfect. Okay, let's go find out what the inside of the windmill and bakery will look like. Wonder what's gonna be inside a windmill. Whoa. It's a seed shop. It looks like there's wheat seeds, beetroot seeds, melon seeds, and then we have some rice, onions, and green beans. <gasps> we should totally buy some and plant them around the windmill. See this? Our crops have grown. In the back, we have some wheat and beetroots. And in the front, we have green beans and onions. I wonder if we can make anything with those. Well, anyway, let's go check out the bakery. 
Hey, look at this. It's full of yummy food to eat. Let's see, they've got a bunch of drinks. They're selling cookies, pie, cake, danishes, and there's even a place to sit over here. This is adorable. But wait, there's something from that book I got that I want to try. First of all, there's this. Just like their ancestors, Mulips love to eat wheat. Feeding two will make another. But mostly, I wanted to try this. Mulips appreciate gentle care, but don't mind an occasional shearing when their flowers grow too big. I want to see what's going to happen. Come here, you. Oh. Oops. 